Yo, what's good everybody? Novelty here. Just got back from yoga. I'm enjoying a nice smoothie. Mm. Mm. Just wanted to talk today a little bit about how to cleanse your pineal gland. Now, one way you can do it, well, you got to have a multiple uh, different ways to do it, but you want to incorporate a good diet with a good spirituality program, basically. Um, there are a lot of factors that come to calcifying your pineal gland. The biggest one, arguably, would be the fluoridation of the water. As we all know, as most of you know, there is fluoride in your tap water. There's also chlorine, which also calcifies your pineal gland. Um, the best way, there are multiple ways to do it, but the best way to go ahead and get rid of all of that would be get your own purification uh, system. There are a lot of websites. Um, the one that I like the best, um, I will put down right here. Um, I just ordered a shower head filter off of there. And that helps you because, you know, not only do you get the fluoride from drinking the water, but you're also bathing yourself with that water. And uh, it's very toxic to your body. It gets into your body through your skin. And it also gets into your body if you're taking a very hot shower, the water vapors, um, you inhale those. So it's really hard, guys, to get get away from the fluoride. Now, get one of these uh, filtration systems off this website or... Go to the go to a grocery store and get natural spring alkaline water, which is kind of hard to find because a lot of the bottled water that claims it is spring water is actually just tap water that's purified, um, doesn't have the right pH, it's not alkaline. So you have to be careful. Do your research. Make sure you get natural alkaline water. Um, you can also go and get reverse osmosis water at most, most grocery stores. Um, but a more convenient way, if you have the money, is to install your own purification filter. Um, these can range um, from a variety of prices. You can buy a pitcher that you just, it just filters. That's probably the cheapest option. They even have a straw where you can just, as you sip through the straw, it purifies it and gets rid of fluoride. It's crazy. Technology is definitely on our side here. Uh, it's unfortunate that, you know, the fluoride's in the tap water to begin with, but we don't really have much control over that, do we? Um, the powers that be want to keep us down, and a good way to do that from reaching our fullest potential and tapping into other dimensions, ascending into the fifth dimension. They want to keep us here in this third dimension, and they want to keep us ignorant of the fact that we are living in a matrix controlled by Saturn. Now, shout out to RFG Chosen One. I learned a lot of this information from him. But also, um, just do your research. You know, it's all over the internet. There's no reason in this day and age to be misinformed. misinformed. Um, because now is our time. Before they start center censoring the internet and taking the voice away from the conscious community, we have to get educated now. Because I'm starting to feel like time is limited. So, um, as I said... You want to 
filter your tap water and you want to filter your bathing water, order a shower head filter. These filters are awesome. They can remove fluoride so you can take a shower fluoride free. Um, it's pretty amazing. I was just looking at this stuff last night. Um, another good way is obviously to cut out all meat and dairy. Go vegan. Uh, this is something that I just started. The meats are filled with heavy metals. And the animals that they are slaughtering are fed hormones and various drugs and they are fed GMO feed and if you don't think that affects you you are what you eat you want to would you eat some would you eat a, a chicken that was in a factory farm um, any animal that you eat you're going to take on the emotions that it was feeling and a lot of these animals are feeling fear because they're not in a natural environment they are being factory farmed and killed and this country is you know it's all about meat in America it's all about meat if you don't eat meat where are you, where are you gonna get your protein there's so many different sources to get protein than from animal meat I will list uh, a few off right now beans non-gmo uh, beans not not canned you want to get the BPA free can if you can or get the dry and make them um, another one is you can get plant-based protein powder it's actually very tasty I'm drinking it right now um, there are a lot of vegetables that are high in protein broccoli for instance spinach um, if you're going to eat eggs, I'm still on the fence about eggs. I think if you get cage-free um, organic eggs, I don't think it could be as bad for you as when you buy the factory farm eggs. Those are a very good source of protein. You want to decalcify your pineal gland. Now, another way to do this is to get rid of all of your negative karma in your life. Make amends with people that you've hurt in the past. Be honest. Bring the truth forward because if you're not ready to do that, then you aren't ready to de decalcify your pineal gland because it's more than just the diet and the the physical things, scientific ways you can do it. Um, it's it's more of a spiritual thing, and you have to realize that before you take this journey. Now you can start off in 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 doing these things like cutting out the fluoride in your toothpaste water and bathing water, and you know adopting a vegetarian or vegan diet. That's a good scaffolding for people to grab onto when they're first taking this, this spiritual journey of decalcifying their pineal gland and tapping into their higher self. But it's going to it's gonna take more than just doing that. You're going to need to just be a better person. And maybe that will come in time. But you have to understand what you're getting yourself into. And you can't get into this journey for any shallow reasons. So just remember that. Now... For my water, I get reverse osmosis water. Eventually, I'm going to get my own filter at home. But I put lemons and baking soda in my reverse osmosis water, and it makes it more alkaline. As we know, the higher the pH of the foods that you're eating, the less chance you can get any disease. Most people are eating chips, soda, alcohol, coffee, um, you know, any kind of processed or fast foods, which fast foods, by the way, are human meat. Don't eat fast food. But anyways, when you're eating all of that acidic food, your body, its overall pH is going to be very low. And uh, all cancer and disease can only live in an acidic environment. 
if your body is a high pH overall and you are very alkaline, you're not going to get cancer. You're not going to get sick. You're not, if you're vegan, it's, you're, you're not even going to get sick. It's, um, food is our medicine and what you put into your body, it makes a difference. I used to think, oh, you know, what's the big deal? I'll have a hamburger at McDonald's. I feel fine. Until you start tapping into your higher self and feeling more sensitive to all of the bodily reactions that and chemical reactions that go on, once you start adopting this new lifestyle, because it's a lifestyle, it's not just a diet, you're going to need to do this for the rest of your life if you want to ascend into the fifth dimension. Now, some people are saying that end times are here already. And some people, for some people, it's too late, you know. And some people aren't going to want to stop poisoning themselves. They don't understand it. They're not knowledgeable of this information. Uh, A lack of knowledge will keep those people here in this third dimension. And it's unfortunate, but some people don't want to learn. They don't want to expand their mind. They don't want to change. And you know what? I've... I used to be frustrated by people like this, especially people in my life. But in all reality, if they're not going to do it and they're not going to make the conscious effort to learn all of these benefits and they're not going to, you know, help themselves, there's only so much I can do. I need, everyone needs to take care of themselves first because only a select few of us are going to make it. So it's up to you to really follow through and adopt this lifestyle and it's hard it's not going to be easy but leave a comment let me know if you have any questions I'll try to answer them as best as I can and do your research I will link um, a couple of different websites and some other information down in the description the the smoothie that I made today is all non-gmo and organic It's with plant-based protein. Really good, by the way. Way better than uh, the whey protein. It doesn't make you fart. It makes you energized. I've been eating great, and I feel fucking great. Uh, I got cilantro, all organic, of course. Banana, avocado. Garlic. Got some oats. Carrots, ginger. Kale. Beetroot. And beet greens, you know, the beet has the beet uh, bulb on the bottom and then it's got the greens on top. Those are also super good for you. Don't throw those away. Uh, We got some natural organic peanut butter and some coconut oil. So that's it. Um, Yoga, I highly recommend starting a yoga program. If you get a gym membership and there are group classes, I only pay $20 a month. And I go to yoga three times a week. It's a great deal. I feel fucking great every time I do yoga. Um, Meditation. If you can just sit quietly and focus on your breath and nothing else for 10 minutes a day. Start off 10 minutes a day. Just focus on your breath. You're going to notice that you're going to be way more focused. Your mind is going to clear up. You can deal with external stimuli better, and you can multitask and stay in the moment. You're going to be way more focused, and you're going to be able to do things that you never thought you could do before. You're going to be way more calm. You're going to calm the nervous system. Another great purchase I made last night, a magnetic necklace. The power of magnets to heal pain and get the blood flowing, get the get the body just firing on all cylinders. Look up the power of magnets and I will link the place that I bought this this magnet uh, they have bracelets, anklets. I bought a necklace. I'm very excited for that. Um because your aura is charged um there's a magnetic field that you want to strengthen. Um, 
elect we live in a very electric society there's a lot of electromagnetic um stimuli coming at us at a daily basis through electronics um radio waves wi-fi all of this affects you and that's why you need to stay grounded and you can you can uh stand out barefoot on the earth uh, non-conductive soil or you can buy a grounding mat and this just plugs into the wall and your body stays grounded and this helps with fatigue and a lot of diseases that are and mental fogginess that are caused by all of these um, electromagnetic waves coming at us, all of the stimuli from all these electronics. And, um, you know, it's also said that Saturn sends down electric uh, at us. So in order to get to our natural DNA, get back to our natural DNA, we need to reduce all of this electro uh, electric coming at us and we need to be grounded we need to be we need to have an uncalcified pineal gland and we need to be in shape we can't be drinking alcohol a glass of red wine is okay every now and then but don't overdo it uh, cut out all gmos fluoride take up some yoga meditation practice start working out Make sure you're eating well. Try to be vegan or vegetarian. And uh, you're going to be ascending to the fifth dimension before you know it. This is Novelty. Peace and love to all. Good luck with everything.